Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make super thin hair look really thick without using any extensions. The first thing that you want to do is you want to start with hair that is super, super clean. Fine hair is not the type of hair that you can style a day after or two days after. If you're going to an event and you have fine hair, you really do need to have it shampooed, conditioned, and blow dried on the morning of the event. Fine hair has a tendency to get weighed down very, very easily with dirt, debris, oil on the scalp, and also with products. So you want to make sure to really strip out all of those products, oils, and debris as a foundational element of your styling. I like to do two shampoos on everyone when I wash their hair, but especially on people with fine hair. The first shampoo that I'm using is by L'Oreal and it is a clarifying shampoo. This is really going to strip away any and all product buildup and debris on the hair and scalp. The second shampoo that I'm using is a volumizing shampoo by Milkshake. Make sure that you're customizing the shampoo that you're using on yourself and if you're a stylist on each and every client so that you're setting up the foundation for a successful end result. Everything really does start at the shampoo sink and the foundation of the entire style starts at the shampoo sink. So you want to make sure to definitely choose the products that are going to lead you towards your end results. That means if you have fine hair, do not choose moisturizing or deep repair style products. Make sure to use lighter shampoos that are volumizing or thickening in nature. Now, when we get started with the styling, foundational products are super important. So after towel drying the hair, I use KMS Add Power. The reason that I chose this product is because it makes fine hair look and feel noticeably thicker and it provides heat protection up to 200 degrees Celsius. I actually cocktail that with the KMS Add Volume because Add Volume provides some natural grip and texture, which is very much needed for hair that's this fine and limp. I like to massage this into the scalp and then comb all of the products through from roots to ends. Now let's talk about the foundations of blow drying because blow drying really is very important for this hair type. When we blow dry fine hair, especially when we get to the top of the head and the crown area of the hair, we want to over direct the brush beyond the base of the hair. If you're doing this yourself, you want to make sure to bring the hair forward. When the section that you're blow drying is completely dry, you want to wrap that round brush and blast it with the cool shot button. This is going to freeze that over-directed volume right into the hair. Hair that's hot tends to be more malleable and tends to drop things quicker. So if you are doing a blow dry and you really want to integrate that volume and have it be long lasting volume, all you have to do is put that volume where you want it. In my case, it's on base. So right at that root. And then when I have that volume in that area, I just blast it with a cool shot button. If I didn't blast it with cool shot button, what it would do is it would look voluminous but then it would drop when you blast it with cool shot button you basically freeze the volume in place because cool hair doesn't move as much or change as much as hot hair does now when it comes to styling this blunt bob I'm gonna start with waving the bottom if you've been here for a while you've probably seen a lot of videos where I do this technique on this length of hair and the reason that I do that is because waving the bottom of the hair and creating like a longer curl on top is going to give you tons of texture and movement a really beachy vibe but it's not going to shrink the hair. The hair already is so short that if you do a traditional curl on it, you're going to shrink the hair too much. It's not going to look modern. So this technique allows the hair to look a lot more modern and to also still have loads of texture and that dense full effect. So what we're going to do here at the bottom is bend our iron up and down as we move along the hair. And we're going to do that until we get to the middle of the head. So we are using a flat iron for this. Just keep on moving that iron up and down as you move down the hair. It's very, very simple. It is as easy as it looks. And what you end up with is an amazing kind of crimpy textured vibe underneath that occipital bone or that bone that protrudes from the back of the head. Now, when it comes to curling, I'm using a one inch curling iron and I'm creating a long curl by clamping at the root of the hair, sliding halfway down, wrapping the iron, unraveling and sliding three quarters of the way down, finishing the curl and then sliding through to straighten the ends. Now this seems really complicated, but I promise you that as soon as you get the hang of it, it's actually incredibly simple and it's probably going to be the way that you curl your hair every single time you do it, whether your hair is long or short. Now I have done a tutorial on this on a long haired mannequin head. There's no talking and it just goes through that kind of process over and over and over again so that you can see exactly how I'm moving my hands. If you want to check that out, go check out that video next. 
I promise you it seems hard, but really it is not hard. And as soon as you get it, it's going to change your life. Now here is a fun hair tip. Before I curl each and every section, I spray it with a light hold hairspray. In this case, I'm using Sebastian Shaper, which is an excellent, effective, brushable hairspray. Don't oversaturate the hair with hairspray because you don't want anything to weigh that hair down. Just apply some fine mist on the section before you curl. The key here is to layer products slowly and modestly so you get the hold without the weight. If you want a bit more volume, especially in the crown area, then you can go ahead and backcomb using a backcombing brush. Just make sure to build up that backcomb by working layer by layer as you move up the head and then smoothing out that outer surface that you can't see it underneath. Now here's a secret trick that I use on loads of my bridal clients, especially my mothers of the bride. And this is like a secret fine hair hack. If there are areas in your scalp that you can see scalp so that you can see through the hair into the scalp, what you want to do is camouflage it with eyeshadow. Now this is really, really easy. All you have to do is take a really densely packed makeup brush and dip it into a matte shadow that matches your root color, okay? Don't match to your highlights, don't match to your balayage, match to your root color. Dip it in there and then smudge out that scalp. What you're gonna do is you're actually going to take away that scalp view, which is going to give the illusion that your hair is really thick. Now, when you first do this, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, is this natural? Are people gonna notice? Absolutely no one will notice. It's like filling in your eyebrows. It makes it look thick and fluffy and beautiful. It doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look fake. All it's gonna do is trick the eye into thinking the hair is thick because it's gonna trick the eye into thinking there's more follicles growing out of it and there's no scalp showing. And here is our end result. It is remarkable what a difference you can achieve when you properly style and set fine hair. Thank you to my beautiful client, Jen, for being my model today. If you guys wanna check her out on Instagram, she's a super cool girl, and her handle is at angel1573. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.